And Wheel Engine just got some exciting new content for animators and filmmakers. Two sample projects called the ACOM Animatic Sample and the ACOM Animation Sample. Released by Epic Games in collaboration with Agora Studio. These projects just let you peek behind the curtain at how a full animated short film can be made entirely in Unreal Engine, which I think is pretty exciting, especially if you want to use Unreal for animation. They are actually part of a larger project by Agora Studio, which is a five-part short film series where each installment shows one event from different characters' perspectives. In fact, the scene featured in these samples comes straight from that series and was built completely in Unreal Engine 5 as a real production example. In the animatic sample, you get to see a rough animated storyboard for the beta's intro short. It is essentially a time sketch version of the film, created inside Unreal Engine as the first draft of the final animation. What makes it special is that it is built using the Praxinos Odyssey plugin, which is a versatile 2D toolset that lets you do hand-drawn animation and storyboard directly inside Unreal. The studio artist used Odyssey to sketch out scenes and blocking shots right in the 3D environment, using actual Unreal level and cameras as their stage. As you can imagine, this approach turns storyboarding into what I would say an interactive in-engine process. So instead of static 2D panels drawn elsewhere, you can draw and animate story panels in contact with real scenes, you know, with proper camera angles and lighting making pre-production faster. On the other hand, the ACOM animation sample is basically the final movie scene, fully realized in Unreal. It contains the finished cinematic, with all the bells and whistles, showing off an entire animation pipeline running inside Unreal Engine 5. This project includes everything, from character rigs and keyframe animations, to the environment setup, lighting, visual effects, and even the final render configuration, all in one Unreal project that you can explore yourself. The interesting thing is that the team used the sequencer, which is Unreal's timeline editor, and they used it as the master edit to arrange the animation, camera cuts, and environment details, and they did all of this in one place, so they never had to export scenes to another program. They even mixed in special effects by combining real-time particle systems via Niagara with hand-drawn 2D elements projected in engine, using an image plate plugin, giving the short a kind of stylized hybrid of 3D and 2D effects. I can comfortably say that the end result kind of proves that Unreal Engine can handle everything, from initial rigging to final frame rendering, and it can do all that in a unified environment, as I said, without going to external software. But if you want to do the same thing, other software can do this as well. For example, I'm pretty sure you can do the same in Blender. What caught my attention is not the project itself, but the fact that these sample projects also shine a light on many of Unreal's built-in animation tools and workflows. For character setup, the team utilized Control Rig, meaning the characters rigging and animation controls are all built right in Unreal, which means you don't even have to do the rigging in another software like Blender or Maya for example. They also took advantage of the newer Unreal Engine 5.6 features. For example, they used Sculpt Morph to create deformation shapes for characters directly in Engine, removing the need to sculpt those fixes elsewhere. The animators also employed a reverse baking technique, which let them reuse and adapt animation data across different character rigs, and even future episodes of the series. And when it came time to output the final video, they rendered it with Unreal's Movie Render Graph tool, which helped them achieve a higher quality frames for the cinematic without leaving the engine. The ACOM animatic and animation sample projects are available now for free for Unreal Engine 5.6 and with version 5.7 update which is coming soon. You can download them via the Epic's marketplace called Fab and open them up to see all the content yourself. It is pretty awesome to think about that Epic and Agona Studio have made these entire scenes available to the community, because honestly, you don't often have the opportunity to open up a finished animated short and see how it was built from the ground up. So whether you want to practice your storytelling by tweaking the animatic or study the nitty-gritty details of a finished Unreal Engine cinematic, I think these project samples provide an incredible playground. So if you want to check it for yourself, you can do that right now. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. 
Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.